What's up my Brain Glaze family? Today we're going to be talking to three people. Two of them are Americans and one is Italian and I'm going to ask them the same questions in English. You have to listen to their English and turn on the subtitles if you need them. Whoa, that sun just came in bright. But let's start with question number one. The USA, I would say, first of all, just based on my familiarity with the USA, I'm most comfortable here. The freedom, the wide open spaces, the ability to do a lot of things that are fun. Um, but again, I haven't been to too many other countries, so it's hard to compare, but I would say just kind of knowing my way around is the biggest advantage. One thing I love about the US is the um, availability of different options and the ease of getting to different places like if i want to go to a restaurant i can just drive down the street there's a big parking lot i park there and i walk in or shopping or things like that and so i just think it's easier to live here and that's probably just because i'm used to it and i also like the diversity in the united states while sometimes i know that causes problems but you know just like all the states are different and it's like you know there's a lot of opportunity and options in the united states for a variety of different cultures and stuff like that okay what's one thing i love about the u.s i love a lot of things about the u.s i love coffee i love certain foods of course i love my husband he's from the u.s um i love rap and in general like the entertainment from the us i think it's really really good like horror movies tv shows um music entertainment uh i've been to italy twice hope to go back there many more times i love the history i love the ancient architecture i love the food uh, the people that I've met there, um, it's a great country and I always am really excited to look forward to going back there every time that I do. One thing I love about Italy is the history and just the beauty and everything you get to see when you're there that you know we'd never be able to see here in the United States. Um, the culture of the Italian family I like because they all hang out together a lot and see each other all the time and they seem to stay closer to each other. Um, and then I like Italy being able to like get to other places in Europe like super easy and see other cool stuff. One thing I love about Italy is the history, the art, the lifestyle like Italians work a lot it's not like we don't work but I feel like we're very good at enjoying small things in life that little coffee with your friend or having dinner with your family almost every night you know small things in life that's so important i really like that about italy um i've probably only been to five or six cities but rome is a great city i've spent most of my time in rome uh, so it's hard to say what my favorite would be. One of my favorite places was Cinque Terre. Uh, I've been there, I've been to Florence, love that city. Um, been through Milan just for a little bit, but like Milan. Um, but as far as probably like a true vacation spot that, I, I mean, Venice is another one. Um, but one that sticks out to me as far as one that I like the most would be Cinque Terre. I think I forgot the name of it, but I really liked, well, I haven't been to that many cities in Italy, but the one that I really liked was those, the ones that we left after Venice, those other two. Murano, Burano? Burano. Okay, why? Because it was cool and pretty and what you would expect it to look like. Like in my mind, like that's how I envision that because the different colored houses and the boats and it was just really cool. I really liked it. My favorite city in Italy. Difficult, because there are many beautiful cities, but guys, you know I'm from Rome, so I'll have to go with Rome. Rome is beautiful, why? Uh, Rome is very dysfunctional, honestly. It's chaotic, it's busy and all these things, but it's beautiful. 
it's full of art like you walk 100 meters and you see like this beautiful old building this piece of art like it's beautiful guys what can i say um that question is hard i was thinking about that and i'm not really sure i mean knowing getting to know sony i think there's a lot of similarities so i can't really think of what the true differences would be i don't know that there are any <laughs> okay. I mean, i'm sure there are but americans are better just kidding italians first of all are way more hospitable than americans are for sure um i think they're way more um willing to do what they're told to do by like maybe their government like you know you all kind of like get together and you're like yeah we're gonna beat this coronavirus or whatever where in america we're all like i'm not doing that and it's annoying so i feel like italy's more united as a culture than america how are americans and italians different oh my god this like I'm not ready to answer this question. I feel like um, Italians cook more. Italians care more about diet and the quality of food. But of course, this is generalization. But okay, um, Americans are very friendly. They are very Italians are friendly too. But I feel like Americans are more friendly. You know. Um, Americans are very good with the customer service like you enter an American shop You're the king in Italy. It's like I'm sorry. Um, I wanted to try that on please Not always guys, but we're generalizing here next uh, Hey, thanks for supporting Brian. I know he's a great teacher. I know he's passionate so I think you know you're hopefully learning a lot with him um, I know he takes the time and effort to do the things that uh, are hopefully going to help you learn the English language. So stick with them and appreciate your support. And uh, maybe at some point soon down the, down the road, I'll get a chance to meet some of you. Take care. Let's see here. Thank you for supporting Brian. And um, also, I love Italy and I love to come and visit. And I want to see different parts of Italy, so maybe next time I come, hook up. Okay, bye-bye. Subscribe the vlog. If you're on Bringlaze or Briller, it means that you're interested in the American culture. Maybe you're interested in English. And I feel like the best quality people have is curiosity. Be curious in life. Be passionate about things don't ever think that you know everything about a topic or i don't know just keep exploring keep learning curiosity is the key i feel like i'm yes is it a terrible message okay that's it and there you have it ladies and gentlemen so i hope you guys learned something maybe even you learned something about italy and america and maybe it was a nice english listening exercise so Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I'll catch you next time, okay? Peace.